guys, it's Jen from Just Jen Cosplay um, and I am just going to do a quick run through of how all my Lady Sylvanas armour goes on. Um, so first thing I'll show you is the breastplate. So I've shown you before that there was some velcro and some buckles. So it literally just slides on at the side, pops in place, the velcro sticks together at the back and then somebody has to help me do that up. Um, as you can see these are the dangly dingly dangly bits so they're just um, on little wires so they can just uh, be adjusted each time but there you go it sits closer in than that because it's just come on down a bit um, but yeah so there you go best played um, really easy to move around in uh, it's not too constricting I'm gonna see if I can come down a bit lower so I'm in the middle oh. um, uh, it is, however, because of the warbler on the back, it is a little uncomfy. Um, it has sustained a bit of damage from Bournemouth Comic Con. This has come off, even though I hot glued it. No! Um, so I've got to stick that back on. Um, but yeah, not too bad. It did. That was midway through. Uh, part, well, when I was putting it on, the, the Velcro came apart, but it does have two buckles. Then one of the buckles fell off. Um, so yeah. Always have backup things to keep your stuff on. Back up. <laughs> um, because, yeah, had I not had three separate things keeping it attached to me, everybody would have seen my boobs. <laughs> Might have got me extra points with the judges, you never know. Um, the next easy bit to show you is the thong part. So that literally just goes around my waist and it clips at the back. It then has a bit of velcro on the back which matches up with some velcro that I have applied to these trousers <laughs> jump <laughs> there um, so it, they just stick together uh, um, there you go uh, also on these uh, leggings there's another piece of uh, velcro here that again I've sewn into place so this is the the fun part of the tutorial if I can show you hopefully. Um, so this is the, the thigh part of the leg armour. So that literally just slides on and then the velcro matches up between here and here. There you go. And that's my leg piece on. Uh, over the top of that is the leather knee guard which is just sewn all the way around. Uh, literally it's just like a, a tube, slightly thicker at the top than it is at the bottom, as you can see. And that, again, just slides on. Like that. Slid on. Ta -da! Comes up over the thigh armour. Um, not had too much trouble because it's just leatherette, it's not real leather. Um, I can, you know, do this with it and everything. Then over the top, the shin piece, again this just slides on, and there you go. And last, but by no means least, is the boot cover. So again that just slides on, and that's got a little bit that then hooks underneath the shoe. This then has to be put underneath the elastic which I then used a safety pin to attach. Um, it's a bit of a faff, and I have to say this part of the costume, if I had more time, or if I were to do it again, I would do it differently, because it was a bit of a faff, really. It just took a long time to put on. It takes, well, not very long to take off, but um, it's also a bit of a balancing act. You've got to take things on and put things off when you're in a car park. Which of course I didn't really think about when I was making it too much. Um, but I have to say, I mean, this, these bits were, are so easy because it's just elastic. They just slide on. It was all the other bits, like the knee guards, that I just really didn't think about properly. I thought about the armour pieces and how they would go on and off, so they go on easily. I just was a little bit silly and I didn't really think about how the other pieces would all come together. Um, another fairly easy part is the gloves. 
So they literally just pull on. She says, I'll drop them right on. Let's get the other one. Um, it was right to begin with. Uh, so these literally just pull on and these were stuck on with hot glue. They are, I stuck on four. The thumb was stuck on as well. You can even see the glue. Um, I didn't stick them on to the index finger. So I did that on purpose because my phone still works through the glove. Um, so it was so I could take pictures or videos is as and when I wanted to. Um, as I said before, if I were going to make these again, I'd make these differently. These wouldn't, I wouldn't cover them all the way around. I'd just make them three-sided um, and stick them on so that I could pick things up because I'm really clumsy even with only three of these fingers on rather than all five I'm really really clumsy um, oh whilst that is on it then it does just uh, pull up then it's just a case of the braces I'm missing a gem the braces just slide on like that That's, it's as, it is as easy as that braces probably one of the easiest things to get on and off and they they're really cool it's really weird like a lot of the other stuff being when it was plastic next to my skin it felt really warm um, but this was nice and cool which is lovely on a sunny sunny day uh, this here you go this is just a piece of elastic that was happened to be the right size it literally just go, went around here and safety pinned at the back and that was my choker <laughs> no expense spared here uh, and then then it's the fun part <laughs> so as you've seen before this was the bit that sits like this on my shoulders the cloak then goes over the top of that Or, as I sometimes, when I'm doing it by myself, like to do it, is to line up the hole on both sides. There you go, see? Holy, holy, holy. Uh, and then pop it on. And then literally just pull it forward. This, the fact that this buttons up, this keeps it in place, and the actual, um, there you go, just little, just like that, two of them, so that, again, if one fails, there is a second one. It also just means that the weight is spread anyway, and it keeps it straight across there, so uh, the hood can come up with my ears. Mysterious ears. Oh, wow. Um. So yeah, this again because it's all secured around here. It stopped them from moving a lot. They can move a little bit, but it, obviously they can't come forward because uh, of the bit of foam across the back. So they can't come forward. Um, and yeah, just the weight of this sort of kept it here. Um, then, as you'd seen before, there is Velcro on these razors. And there's Velcro on the bottom of the pauldrons and it's literally a case of just sticking it on like that and they act as a counterbalance because they're obviously connected to each other so it stops them from going one way or the other I think it's just good to have a little look at that because it's just so pretty they're so pretty I love them um, I would really like to do more with this costume I feel like it's so pretty um, so I'm going to have to go and do a photo shoot or, or something with it um, because it is just so pretty and I don't necessarily feel like the pictures from the Comic Cons did it justice. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely like to do some more. Look at my ears. Hi! Um, <laughs> it just broke the... Um, the other thing I would like to go on about, just very briefly, was the eyebrows. Um, they worked really really well uh, I was so pleased with how they looked because uh, they actually went on here whereas they didn't work in London I couldn't get them to stick 
uh, and as I said in my last video, um, it was just a case of putting them on first before putting any of the other makeup uh, because it just couldn't it couldn't take. It was basically sticking to the makeup. Just to show you, these are as easy to take off as popping off the Velcro. This stuff, my understanding is, you actually used to keep um, fire extinguishers on the wall. Uh, so it's really, really, really strong. <laughs> um, so strong, in fact, that uh, all of the bits were attached to fabric. I had to sew them on as well. So this is not only glued, it's also sewed onto the fabric. Which I was a little bit taller. <clears throat> yeah, uh, there you go. Yeah, I am... Overall, I'm so pleased. Considering this is my first build, really pleased with how it looked. I'm really pleased with how it felt. And I'm really pleased with the overall how it how it worked um, there are several things that I would change but I'm not going to because that's a job for the next thing that I make um, is to learn and do it better and you never know maybe in X number of years when I when I really know what I'm doing maybe I'll have another crack at it, crack at it. Um, anyway I hope you guys have an amazing week. I am off on holiday next week, so hopefully when you see me next, I'll be all tanned. Anyway, see you again, guys. Bye-bye.